heart attack deaths have become more common across all age groups since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. But a recent study found that young people are actually most at risk in this case. According to Cedar sinai Hospital, the number of heart attack deaths among 25 to 44-year-olds in the U.S. over the first two years of the pandemic was 30% higher than predicted. Dr. Celine Gounder is here on set with us uh, to talk more about it. She's editor-at-large for public health at Kaiser Health News, and she is also an infectious disease specialist and epidemiologist and a CBS News medical uh, contributor. Dr. Gounder, thank you for being here. Uh, what stood out to you in this study? I think the fact that you're seeing such a big increase specifically in the youngest age group, so the 25 to 44-year-olds, you saw this 30% increase in the risk of death from heart attack. And that really is quite striking. That's not a group, an age group, in which you normally see heart attacks, much less dying from a heart attack. So uh, the, the, to do uh, a study like this, you look at the years prior to the pandemic and the typical rate of heart attack death in that age group, and then you see it increase and you wonder what's the new variable. And so the pandemic is that new variable? That's right. So these uh, researchers looked at 10 years of data across the U.S., all the death certificates that get filed with the CDC, uh, that data. And so what they saw is prior to the pandemic, heart attack deaths were actually dropping. And then that trend reverses, and you see those deaths go up, especially among that youngest age group during the pandemic. And do we know why the young, why younger people might be more at risk? Or? We don't know for sure. And in fact, these death certificates are probably not even capturing the fact that they might have had COVID. Uh, they're really just saying, did you die from a heart attack or not? Um, what we do know, however, is that younger people were less likely to protect themselves against COVID than older people, less likely to mask, less likely to take other mitigation measures. And they were also farther back in line to get vaccinated. So they were not protected with vaccination until later in the pandemic. Those might have been a factor here. So basically, I mean, you could have had perhaps a mild infection, and of course this is all hypothetical, but then there might have been a, a lingering heart situation, heart disease. Right. So COVID causes inflammation um, of the blood vessels as well as other parts of the body and also blood clots. And what we think and what we think and what we think is that a COVID infection may have actually accelerated the process of developing heart disease, what we call coronary artery artery disease, and so therefore accelerated when somebody might have had a heart attack and died from a heart attack. You know, but COVID also changes uh, how much you can get out to an exercise class, how often you see friends, maybe your level or of activity overall, your stress, yeah. when you see your doctor. I mean, doctor. Are there, are there, how are they ruling out or accounting for these other lifestyle changes? We don't know. So you can't really assess that just from looking at death certificates. Again, all we can say is how old were they? Did they die from a heart attack? Um, but, you know, some of uh, the factors you're mentioning could certainly have played a role. We also know healthcare facilities were really overwhelmed during the pandemic. So was it that somebody had a heart attack and then was less likely to survive because yeah. the healthcare facility was overwhelmed? Couldn't get there on time. Well, thank you so much. Uh, something new to, to, to go and see your doctor and, and, and check yourself about. Thank you. Thank you.